Hello everybody, this is your girl SJ and today I just want to wish each and every one of you a happy Sunday and I hope you are blessed. And if you are the persons that do not appreciate the goodness of God in your life and you just think that your life is not good enough at this present time, I want you to know that you have to be grateful that you can wake up in the morning and see another day. You have to be grateful that you still have legs to walk on, hands to use, eyes to use, mouth to use, to eat by yourself, cook food and eat. There are a lot of many other people out there in the world who do not have these things available to use. So if you wake up every morning and see yourself healthy, and see yourself, even if you doctor say you're not healthy, but you can see yourself still moving in that flesh of yours. Then you should appreciate that God still have your life for a purpose. That you're not better than the people out there in the streets or people out there in the houses that were made ugly. That, would, that have no legs, have no hands, or have no nose, no eyes. It's because the grace of God wants you to understand that. Things happen for the way they are. Those people who are going through those trials and tribulations, it's not that God do not like them or God is not faithful for giving them what he gave them, but he knows the reason why he made them the way they are. And it does not give anybody, no man or woman whosoever, the right to shame them or to abuse them. Or to look down on them. Because you yourself have no guarantee over your life. Whether it will be tomorrow the way it is. So the only thankful person you can give thanks to. To appreciate and say I need you to always guard my first step. Is when you allow God in everything you do. Because when you allow God in everything you do. You allow yourself to see who you really are. You allow yourself to see your destiny and your values. And you allow yourself to grow in a successful way. So everything that God is part of is not because of humanity. It's not because of your own strength. It's not because you are beautiful or you are handsome. But it's because he has destined himself in our lives for a purpose it's because he's the only one that can make it right for us it's because he's the only one that can open our eyes to see our true value and our true calling so you do not have to be for me i do not live my life in the footprint of other people i do not follow anybody I follow the spirit of the living God. I ask God for his divine spirit, his, his intervention in my heart, soul, body, in my mind. And I am inspired. I am inspired by strong men and women of God that preach the gospel and respect the human being that they live with. People that know the value of what it means to be a Christian. The value of respecting people into the things of God and bringing them in the things of God in a very decent and polite way. I do not respect no man or woman of God who talk to people anyhow, disrespect people anyhow, and just think that they are better than other people. You are nothing better than other people because that life you have and that gift you have was given by the unseen God. And you have no right whatsoever to think that you are better than other people when God starts to mold you and start to bless you from the very people who make 